Hi, my name is John Trask. I'm the CEO of Demetra. I've been working over the last 30 years of my career in solving supply chain problems using technology around the world. Um, I'd like to introduce Demetra Incorporated. Demetra is a corporation that we started a few years ago to work on agricultural challenges, helping farmers make better decisions and record pieces of data that will help them increase their yield, reduce their cost and mitigate their risks. One of the big risks that farmers are facing and industry is facing is deforestation. Right now, about 10 million hectares of forests are lost every year as a result of deforestation. Agriculture is a huge component of that. Starting in 2024, the EU has a new regulation that has been approved and it's called the EUDR. There will be tighter controls on particular commodities that are heavily involved in deforestation. So this is putting pressure on farmers, particularly small farmers who currently lack access to advanced technologies. These farmers are often the last to avail of better ways of working with technology and farmers, cooperatives, importers and manufacturers need to start building track records and actually start evaluating supply chain compliance. Farmers need to adapt these technologies now. In 2024, it's probably too late. The EU is banning the importation of the following products, palm oil, cattle, soy, coffee, cocoa, timber, and rubber. Keep in mind, they're not just banning those direct products, they're banning all of the derivatives that are coming into the EU. So this is going to make a huge impact. Almost 150 countries have committed to eradicating deforestation. About 141 countries signed up. Since then, a number of other countries have signed up. And the EU is taking the first step forward in achieving the goal of eliminating deforestation. They've picked these seven commodities because those are heavily linked to deforestation. Farmers remove trees in order to create more grazing land for cattle or plant more soy or cocoa or any of the products. If the world continues on its current path, we'll only have 10% of our forests remaining by 2030. We have to act really quickly. And we've developed a global solution to create the supply chain records to ensure regulatory compliance and traceability records. And it's regardless of international frameworks and borders. We have five platforms that help farmers on the crop side, deforestation side, and livestock side. We are combining those platforms to make an integrated application or three individual separate applications in order to help farmers with the challenges that they're having. We've got a really innovative tech stack. You know, we start typically with a mobile app, but we also work in web. We build in components of artificial intelligence. So as a, a farmer enters data into the system, we're doing analysis of that data in order to make recommendations. We also have a learning component within the system to teach best practices around how do you manage each individual crop. We incorporate drone and satellite. We've developed 23 satellite reports and a number of reports for drones. And then we take all of the critical data and we write it to blockchain. You know, one of the challenges in solving the deforestation issue is using satellite to identify trees and bushes and grass and training it to understand the differences. So we use a number of tools and a number of ways of doing this. We spend a lot of time training our machine learning on a region by region basis versus using a global training model. And by doing this, we get our accuracy well over 90%. Those who use a global training model typically would have accuracies under 80%. So then there's a bunch of rules around deforestation. And we've trained and modeled our system so that our machine learning can distinguish between the different rules and we create them in layers. So the first basic rule that we follow and the first layer that we create within our system really looks at what is happening with the, with the forest 
what trees were there in 2020, which is the cutoff date for the EUDR, and what trees are there now. So what has been added, what has been removed, and those could be added or re removed by natural causes, as well as actual deforestation where somebody's out cutting them down. The next four individual pieces really are the key to our system success and the key to us assuring that we meet the regulations. So when we look at a forest, a forest has a certain size, according to regulation, uh, half a hectare. And removal of elements of that is what we measure. The next piece is that the trees need to be higher than five meters. So most systems don't evaluate the height of the tree. The next piece is canopy. And how big is the canopy? What's the density look like? Is it greater than 10%? Because then it falls under the definition of forest. And then beyond that, one of the most complex components is what's the future state of that forest? So if the trees are sitting at four meters today, but they're expected to be over five meters tall in a year or two, we have to look at the potential growth of that forest as part of the analysis. So if you take these individual components, then you need to look at those combined, and we offer those in layers, and use that as part of your analysis on whether a farm is deforesting or not. Let's look at a, a real life use case. And let's use coffee, for example. A coffee farmer is growing on the side of the mountain in Indonesia, making great coffee. Um, they've got a farm that they need to prove to their end users, the coffee companies in Europe, that they are compliant and they're not deforesting. Um, they draw a real quick geofence within our system around their farm. Our system analyzes that and looks for areas of non-compliance and produces a certificate. That certificate then can be shared with the supply chain from the coffee farmer to the roaster in this example. Vice versa, the roaster may be buying from a large number of coffee farms and can log into our system and establish geofences around the farms where they're purchasing coffee and get the same report for each farm. Those reports can be used for the import documentation to show that the farm is compliant and doing a good job, or to work with the farm, knowing that they have some compliance areas that maybe need to be addressed and to help manage the supply chain. You know, we're really proud to be part of developing a sustainable ecosystem within farming and food products. Uh, it, it's a huge driver for us at Demitra. Deforestation is a critical component to sustainable farming and sustainable industry. And uh, we are using AI in order to help both the farmers and measure deforestation. You know, I'd like to invite you to send me an email, john at demitra.io. We can talk about your particular use case, the challenges you're having, accessing farms. Um, performing analysis and meeting the definition of a regulation from a, a satellite perspective. It's, it's quite complex, um, but we've got a simple solution for all of those different critical layers. I'm really happy to be here talking about this today. Uh, hopefully I've illustrated how we're using AI in this short segment in order to combat this problem. And uh, I hope you have a great conference. Thank you.